guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm shooting a haul. I really love shooting hauls because then you guys can kind of get a glimpse of what I'm gonna be styling in my upcoming videos. So it's so frustrating when I post a video, a style video, and the item is already sold out. So this can kind of give you a glimpse into some things that I'm gonna be styling. That way, you know, if you already have it or if it's something you're like, oh my gosh, I need that, then you will already kind of be on the lookout for, for the outfit or for the styling process. So welcome to my haul. Let's go ahead and get started. I've got all these brands, these stores brands right here that I'm gonna be showing you. A lot of you, not a lot of you, okay, like four of you have messaged me saying that you want me to venture outside of Zara and I will totally do that. So thank you for bringing that to my attention because I do have a lot of Zara. My defense though, um, Zara is right down the street for me so it is so accessible and it's like the best Zara in the whole city. So. Um, you got to give a girl a break. <laughs> I love and other stories. I love mango. Aritzia is also great. So yeah, I will start venturing out and trying, um, trying to incorporate new stores, new brands into, uh, my style videos for you. First, I have one item from a brand called 20 and I love these so much. They are sweatpant material culottes, but they're also dressy at the same time, which is amazing. No weird like sweatpants tie. They've got this really nice um, waistband that kind of holds everything in. Sweatpant material, did I say that enough times? But also nice. <laughs> see myself wearing these, um, you know, if I want to dress them up, going to a meeting, or I can see these, you know, on a Sunday morning just rolling out of bed. So versatile sweatpant, culotte, dressy pants, I love these so much. Next, I have one pair of shoes from And Other Stories, and I love these so much. They are these patent pointy-toed loafers, and I mean, I am obsessed with these. Love this, love this, love all of it. So I usually wear a 36 in And Other Stories shoes, but I got a 37 because that is all they had, um, and they fit fine like slip off they don't fall off when I wear them they actually fit pretty well maybe go up half a size if you're gonna order these um, because you know if you have patent shoes that are too tight this will rub you such a mean blister so be careful when you're ordering these next is some jewelry that I have and I will start with this one I got this from Etsy and I just love coin vintage looking things and so of course I loved this but it is basically just like this coin bracelet with a um, leather band right here. I wish this came in black. It doesn't, I don't think, um, but it comes in burgundy, which is really nice for fall, but I got the nude to kind of go with more things. You guys have been asking me about my coin choker, this one right here, and this is from Child of Wild. And oh my gosh, I love their jewelry so much. I have too many things in my cart right now. It's insane. Um, but I don't mind spending a little bit of money on some jewelry. I don't mind investing in really cool pieces because those are pieces that you'll have forever that you can pass down to um, your children. So I just think investing in jewelry is always an okay thing. Then I got a sort of dupe for you guys if that's a little bit out of your, your price range or your budget right now. Um, this one from Forever 21, it's kind of like a choker built in layering necklace, which I love layered already necklaces because then you don't have to do the work. It's kind of already done for you. You don't have to worry about tingling or like, does this look right? So I thought this was like a pretty cool piece, especially for Forever 21. They sometimes surprise me and have like really cool jewelry. I will move on to Forever 21. I have two things. So the first thing is this plaid Baker boy hat. I've been wearing the death out of my black one, so I was like, all right, it is time to invest in another one. You can see this with like just basic white tee, um, black denim, and this just kind of makes your outfit. It's a really cool accessory to add. Next from Forever 21 is this sweater dress. Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the most comfortable things that I own. And it's basically just a black maxi sweater dress with a balloon sleeve, always a plus potato sock with two slits up the side. I work from home, so this is kind of perfect for me to throw on, layer on some jewelry, throw on a hat, and just be like cute slash comfortable for the day. On days that are a little bit warmer, I'll throw on some motorcycle boots, wear it out. It's not like one of those thick sweater dresses. It's pretty thin, it's more fall, not so much winter. But um, if you're in a warmer cl climate and you want like a cool sweater dress without you know, sweating your brains out, then this is a really good sweater dress to have. Next, I will do Topshop, and 
I'm tangled. First is this um, black midi. I guess it's a midi dress. I don't, I don't know if you remember my floral dress that I shot a while back with um, the chain military boots. This is the same dress, but it's black and it's a midi. So it has these ruched sleeve, uh, sleeves, which I love. I think that's such a cool detail. And then the back laces up, which is really nice. It just kind of adds a little something. Any sort of black dress I can get my hands on, done. I've already shown two and we just got started. The last thing from Topshop is this harness belt i know this like looks very sexual but it's not this is the front and then this is the back so the belt goes in the back and then the straps go in the front oh cool with like a t-shirt um i don't know i just think it's kind of like a cool alternative to like a piece of jewelry or even a belt but i don't know a lot of you are probably like put that away right now next i have asos and First, I will show you this top, which obviously I love because the sleeves are balloon. And I love contrasting sleeves, and it's even better that it's blue and black because that is one of my favorite color combos for fall and winter, and pretty much just all the time. I really love how it's got this detachment right here with a little ruffle detail, mock neck. Um, the, the material's pretty thick. It's not like a thin, flimsy t-shirt material. I just thought it was really cool with like a pair of jeans. I just love anything with a pair of jeans. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. Oh look, another black dress. This is me admitting I have a problem. I was a little disappointed when I got this one because it is so thin. Like it's very, very thin. But again, working from home, this is a great dress for me to have because it is another potato sack dress that I can layer necklaces over at a hat. And I mean, you could do some tights with it and a long coat if again, your climate's a little warmer. Um, this is a good like fall dress for you to have. It's fine. I can definitely save this for springtime with some flats. Oh, I love this. My favorite item from ASOS, this sweater. Um, colors are just amazing. They're amazing. Black, burgundy, pink, red, pink again. Can't go wrong with any of these colors and I like them together. Um, again, with a pair of black jeans. This would be cute, it's very oversized, so you could do this with like some faux leather leggings, some booties, um, even some jeans, some sneakers. I don't know, I just love sweaters like this that A, have cool colors or print or that aren't itchy. And this kind of checks off all of my boxes. And oversized. So lastly, I will do my Zara stuff. First, I will start with my one accessory. And I got a beret. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'll show you that later. And just another accessory, layer, not layering piece, but an accessory. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. I'm at a loss for the first time in a haul. It's a hat. Next, oh, I love these. So these are my baggy crotch pants. Shocker, right? Ashley wears baggy crotch pants. I just think they're cool. They're like one of those statement pants that you just really don't need to fuss about your top or your accessories because all the detail is in the pant, pantaloons. Is that right? So I have an extra small here. You guys always wonder with like baggier items what size I have. These are an extra small. They were a little bit big. When I washed them, they shrink quite a bit. So um, just be mindful if you do get these, they will shrink after you wash them. A pair of velvet pants. And I almost bought a pair of these at Rag & Bone last year for like $230. And I'm really glad I held out because these actually fit me 10 times better. They're high-waisted, which yay, and they're velvet. And I've been looking for a good pair of velvet jeans for like two years now without spending $230 because this isn't a jean that you can wear. Um, I don't think it's an investment piece. Um, it's not just a basic black pair that you can wear all the time. Velvet is very seasonal and um, obviously I will not be wearing these in the summertime, so I didn't want to you know, spend a whole lot of money. So I was really happy to buy these at Zara. Next from Zara is a sweater that I've seen like six people wear since I bought it. I haven't even worn it yet, but I'm really excited too. Jenna has it also, I think everyone has it, but it's just this really pretty camel color. I think that's why everyone has it because the color is so great and the fit is like perfect. It's so oversized. Really, that's all there is to say about it. It's an oversized camel sweater. Mm -hmm. Next is this floral midi dress. Again, another one of these things that I will wear with ankle booties, um, like moto boots. I love taking girly florally things and kind of making them edgy with a leather jacket. Or you could go total opposite. You could do boho with this dress and do a fedora. 
Um, so either way, I just, I absolutely love this. It's got velvet details. Like these dark pieces are velvet. So that's fun. That's fun. Next is, hey, this isn't from Zara. This is from H&M, but I'll show you anyways. This is the dress I wore in my Instagram picture and everybody loved it, so here it is. I actually got it the day before the event, so it's pretty new. I just love the colors and I love like dark florals. Like I love black with like sparing florals on it. And then the sleeve have a button detail. I wore it with over the knee boots, which is a look that I love. Midi dress with over the knee boots. I think it's something very like chic about it. I hate using that word, but that's what I can think of to describe like that whole situation. My next piece is something that I have been looking for for about like a month and a half. I've been looking for a fall kimono. Um, and I found one, I found one at Zara and I just love the colors. It's this really pretty royal blue with velvet rose floral patches on it. And this really does look like a bathrobe when you close it, um, so I don't close it. I will wear it open. Just jeans and booties and like a high neck white or like cream top I think would be really pretty. But I was so happy to find this and it has pockets which I just learned right now. And it's floor length, perfect. So if any of you girls have been looking for a fall kimono, here's, here's your guy. So next I have a bodysuit. This is a velvet bodysuit and it is, I just love this. I love the colors in it. It's got this really pretty salmon color. It's black, it's got teal, green. I just think this is like, if fall were a bodysuit, this is what it would be. I normally don't like love bodysuits because look at that. Like why would anyone want to wear this? It's a bodysuit and I got over it because I really like it. Really cool prints. Zara just sometimes makes like the best prints and this is one of my favorite prints ever from Zara. The material, the color, the print, everything is just right. Lastly is a bomber jacket that I got in the men's section of Zara. It's got a lot going on. There are so many colors and I love it so much. It's got this little patchwork right here of this tiger. And then the back also has the tiger on it. And it says pure change, which I would normally think is super cheesy. I'm not like a fan of this type of thing, but I don't mind it. I just love everything about this. It just flows really well. So um, way to go Zara men's section. I hope you guys love this. I hope you found some new items um, or if you already have these items, be on the lookout for styling them in the future. Don't forget to sign up for the Life by Her lookbook. The link is here, the description box. Go check it out, see what it's about. We have an app now. The app for the iPhone is now available to download. So yay, App Store. Yay, Apple for finally approving the app. That was such a long process, but that is another story. Anyways, I'm excited for Vlogmas. It's coming soon. I'm already putting together a list of ideas of things to do. Um, so if you have any, please tell me because I'm trying so hard not to be boring during Vlogmas. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.